Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. This is gonna be a quick one. I've got the chronograph out and I've got some 35 welling ammo. Oh, I recently did a video doing some factory ammo grouping out of my CVA Scout 35 welling, whaling, however you wanna say it, I call it welling. And all of these three factory loadings that I had did fantastic. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But tons of you guys, too many to count, said, man, you should have chronographed them. So this is part two, part B, the supplement to that video. And let me show you all the ammo we got here. We got these barns. These are the lightest. This is the barns, 180 grain. These are the blue tips right here. This one right here, we're gonna chronograph this one. Probably be the fastest since it's the lightest. Next, we have a 225 grainer Federal Premium. This is that all silver one. A lot of you guys said we should deer hunt with this one. Maybe we can do it here soon, or up there, who knows. And then lastly, the heaviest one is this Remington Express Rifle. 250 grainer the heaviest of the bunch this is actually the one that I had the CVA sighted in with probably going to be the slowest but we're about to find out but I'm going to set up the chronograph at 10 yards we're going to see what happens and then at the end of the video I'll put them all in a quick little chart so we can read it and review it all together but let me go up set up the cameras and the chronograph at 10 yards and then we'll see what happens I'm setting it at 10 yards because if I go any closer, a lot of times these heavier bang bangs, the muzzle flash will mess up the readings. And these are two and three dollar boo lots. We don't want to mess up the readings on the chronograph. So let me set it up. We're going to get us some chronograph data for the 35 whaling or whaling. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Back here just at 10 yards. Get my glasses on. 10 yards. Got the chronograph set up over there. And the first one I'm going to send is that 250 grainer. This is my CVA Scout. Super, super sweet rifle. If you haven't seen the videos on this thing, go check them out. I absolutely love it. Triggers on these are awesome. But here goes the 250 grainer at 10 yards. We don't need 14 zoomies. Let's go down to four. See what kind of speeds we get. I don't even know what to guess. I'm going to run down there and read it quick. 2376. 2376 out of the 250 grainer. Now we've got the 225 Federals. How fast is this going to be? Maybe guess about 2,500 feet per second. Let's see how fast this goes. Should be faster than that other one. Okay, I just realized something. I got a scope instead of walking up there. I could have just looked through the scope. So what was that one? Uh, 2650. So those Federals have some saws on them now. Let's go. Uh, let's go up to the lightest here. The Barnes 180 grains. This probably says how fast. This says at the muzzle 2900. So. If, uh, what were those 225s? <coughs> the 225s were at 2650, so these probably will get close to 2900. That's booking it. I mean, that's 30 out six speeds, I guess, out of 35. Let's see, uh, see what we get with the 180s. Oh, yeah, that was Twenty-nine forty-nine. Not bad, not bad. But there you have it guys. Super quick video. Chronograph speeds on my 35 Wellen. Quick video, but wanted to get that data because you guys asked for it and so I know and I can do the calculations on the bullet drop if we ever decide to do any 35 Wellen past, you know, 100 yards or so. But if I had to get uh, give you my pick I'd probably go with the 225s or the 250s because 
like a bunch of you guys said in the previous video, if we're going to fling a 180, you know, we might as well go with the 30 out 6. But there's some states, you know, you could use a 35, but you can't use a 30 out 6. All that jazz. But appreciate you guys watching. That CVA Scout. This thing is an absolute peach. Super nice triggers. We've got a couple videos on these scouts, both in this 35 and in the 4570, if you want to check those videos out. But appreciate you guys watching. 35 whaling. I dig it. That one's an absolute tech driver with pretty much all three of those loadings. But as always, make sure you're subscribed to the Hooty Hoo channel. Appreciate you guys big time. You have no idea. Make sure you're subscribed to our friends at the Heavy Metal channel. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. 35.